Good evening, y'all. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing. And today we're talking about storage solutions for your soft plastics. Over here to my right, I have the Plano Edge Series, the plastic storage that they have. I also have another solution down here. It was my first solution. Uh, we'll go ahead and start talking about it. And that's just a simple tub that you can buy from Walmart. Uh, I don't know particularly the size of this one. Because mm. then we have a scale. So the lid dimensions of this guy are 16 long by about 11 and a half wide. Uh, pretty good solution for your first solution for soft plastic storage. Uh, I'm just going to grab one out of this box here. Uh, just some worms here. I mean, it's pretty simple. If you're looking for a cheap solution to throw your soft plastics in, I mean, it fits a pretty big pack of worms really easy. And you can stack them up. Just like that. Just a simple stack it up method. Then you put the lid on. And then those, these stack on top of one another while they're in your cubby or wherever you're storing them. This one's kind of full of my old soft plastics. I've been starting to keep them. Eventually I want to pour them, melt them down and pour them into my own molds. So we got quite a ways to go until we have enough to mess with. That's probably enough to start off with, but I really don't have the time or the resources to be messing with that. So yeah, we'll put that out for another day. So now most of you are here for the Plano Edge boxes. First of all, they are 3700 series wide. So anywhere a 3700 series is going to fit width wise, these will fit in there as well. So if you have a special cubby, you just drop these in. It'll be just perfect for you. Uh, some features on the outside is you have this little label that you can write on uh, what it is. So if you're laying it down, having it face up, you can see what's in it. Mine usually sit this way, so I can see what's in it from on top. Uh, this one is a worm box, so I got worms in here. I have another one here that's got creature baits, all sorts of creature baits. That one's really heavy, I use a lot of creature baits. Then the last one here is swim baits, all sorts of swim baits. Uh, the swim bait one is a little less useful it takes up a lot of space. I'll show you guys. Each one of these packages comes in, you know, one of these hard plastic cases. So it takes up a lot of space in here. So I can't store as many swim baits as I would like. So we may have to come up with a different solution for that one. But for now, it works because I don't carry that many baits on my boat. So since the swim bait one is the one that is the most empty, we're gonna work with it. So the lid mechanism, I'll hold it up here so you guys can see. In order to open it, you just flip this tab down, just like, just like that. And then this becomes free swinging. If you wanted to latch it again, you make sure the bottom scrapes against the side and then push the outside toward the open and then it latches back in. Never had a latch pop open, never had any issues with it. So while we're still talking about the lid, we have this yellow gasket here. It's a rubber, maybe silicone material that seals the box up when you close it. So there's no water that's gonna get in and there's no leak of scent or smell coming out. So once you latch it, you don't have to worry about water or anything getting in to your soft plastics and ruining them. However, that's going to ruin them. I don't really know, but you don't have to worry about them getting wet. They're going to stay dry in here. So since this one doesn't have a whole lot of stuff in it, we're just going to dump it out. Almost all of them dumped out. That way I can show you guys the interior features. First of all, we're going to take a divider out. And I'm going to show you this. It has a water wicking system. So if your seal doesn't work, or for some reason you have a wet package or whatever, you have a water wicking system that is going to keep the moisture at bay. Looking further into the box, you have several different areas to put your dividers in. So you can 
move them around. I can't see what I'm doing, so you can move your dividers around uh, however you see fit. You can also purchase more dividers online if you needed them, I believe. But I find that that's annoying to me. Okay, there you go. I find that two dividers is pretty good. I can have divided by like size or I can divide it by brand. Whatever I see fit will work here. So as far as soft plastics go, I have uh, these Guggen darts here, just a five inch simple bait. They fit in here with plenty of room. There are some baits that don't. I talked to you guys about, oh, let's grab something different. I talked to you guys about these hard plastic ones uh, in, for the swim baits. They, they don't, they fit in this way, but they get in the way of the lid. If y'all can see that right there, they get in the way of the lid. So I've been putting them sideways and kind of bunching up the edges. So they fit in kind of like that. It gets them out of the way of the lid and I can still have access to them. So as far as some of your bigger packages, such as these uh, Google Mondo worms, 10 inch worms, they don't fit in here, not, not square. You can turn them at an angle and get them to fit in, but that's not ideal. What I've been doing is for some of the bigger stuff, you can set it right up here on top and you have these little divots. Uh, you can see them here, little cutouts that fit a package of worms and they're pretty good. So if you can keep all your other baits below those divots, you can store some of your bigger stuff on top. Also, if you don't have any large packages of worms or you have maybe a, a 3500 series box, uh, this one's just a regular Plano. Uh, it's a simple, small box. I put my slap spoons in this one, but if you have another one that maybe stores hooks or maybe some weights or uh, maybe some shaky heads or something that you keep with your worms, a 3500 fits perfectly on top and it latches in just fine so no issues there so if you need to have an all-inclusive box hey I'm going to throw some soft plastics in here I'm going to throw some hooks in here as well and I'm just going to throw it in my truck and go to the lake and do some bank fishing for a little bit that would be actually a really good solution uh, obviously you can't carry everything with you. You know, this is a box, not a, a backpack, but you can have a, a little larger selection at the lake. Keep everything in here. Maybe throw this in your backpack, the little 3500 series. Maybe you needed to pick up a few extra weights or a hook or two, throw it in here. And you have a larger selection at your truck. So you have like your boat tackle as your truck tackle. So I've had these boxes for about six months now, and I want to give you guys the pros and the cons and my true opinion of the boxes. First of all, I really do like the boxes overall. I'd probably give them four out of five stars. They keep my equipment dry. They have the nice seals. They have the, the wicking things inside. I don't even know what you call them. I guess a desiccant of some kind. They keep the equipment dry, and that keeps me really happy. But... One of the big cons about these is they're kind of bulky and there is some wasted space, like around the edges here, there is some wasted space on these. And I feel like, hey, I can get another, you know, couple bags of soft plastics in there. Uh, moving back to the, the pros here, it does provide dividers. So that helps me stay more organized with my tackle. I can have a section of crawls, I have a section of creature baits, and then I can have maybe a section of brush hogs or something like that. Another positive, or at least for me, it does limit what I will carry out to the lake. Uh, if you're like me, you have way too much tackle and you don't need to be carrying it all to the lake every single time. It does make me think and strategize more about my fishing patterns, what I'm going to be doing that day. Uh, and I'll exchange some stuff out. Hey, I'm going to use these patterns today. Um, I might use these, so I'll, I'll throw them in there, but there's no way I'm going to be using any of those. So I'm going to leave those at the house. So it does keep me committed to a certain amount of weight, especially since I'm storing these in my 
storage boxes up front. It'll keep me down on weight and it'll keep me from throwing too many soft plastics in the boat. So if you're wanting one of these, if you get on Plano's site, uh, they are actually pretty expensive. They're like $55 there for each box. I did get on Amazon right before making this video and I saw them on sale. I don't know if they were even on sale. I think their regular price was like $32 for one of these. So that's a lot more affordable and I have three of them. So that's like 90 bucks just in storage boxes. So that might deter you from buying these uh, just because of the price. And in that case, I definitely would recommend going with a good old fashioned Walmart storage box here. That'll definitely do you some good. It'll solve your storage issues and it'll help you keep more organized for quite a long time. So you guys let me know in the comments below, what do you think of the Plano Edge plastic storage boxes? Are you thinking about getting them? Do you think they take up too much space? Or are they even worth the, the money to even think about purchasing? Y'all let me know. Don't forget to smash that like button if you learned or enjoyed this video in any way. But just like always, until next time, get out there and we'll catch you some fish.